um, worth of expenses. So this is like rent, gas, food, um, anything that you would count as expense, just to have three to six months stacked up for that. Uh, this may sound like a lot, but it can easily be done if you set aside little amounts of money from your paycheck or however you get paid each month or bi-weekly, however you get paid. Other reasons to have a savings account are to save for like a down payment on a home, uh, save for vacation, or even if you want to, or if you're looking to buy a new car. Uh, savings account are meant to be used for short-term goals, not long-term. Um, savings account accounts are offered at almost every U.S. bank and credit union. Um, the last main core category that I want to talk to you guys about is investing. Now, investing is the process of buying assets that appreciate in value and that you later receive payments in the form of income, uh, in form of income payments or capital. Examples of this would be like real estate or you could buy stocks. I mean, there's many different um, assets, how you look at it. Investing is important as it allows you to create wealth and eventually be able to retire, as I know everybody doesn't want to be working for the rest of their life. Um, the most important aspect with investing is time. Time is important because of compound interest. Um, the longer you're invested, the more compound interest you'll earn. And compound interest is when you uh, earn interest on both the money you've saved and the interest that you earn. Now this is the uh, Ben and Arthur chart. It was my uh, personal finance teacher showed me this when I took personal finance in high school and something that just has stuck with me um, through my personal finance uh, journey. So this is Ben. He started investing when he was 19 and stopped when he was 26. He put 2,000 in every year. Um, and then from 27 to 65, he stopped investing. And then this is Arthur on the other side who did not invest from 19 to 26 but start put it in 2000 from 27 to 65. Now you can see down here at the bottom, Ben has $2,288,996 at, at the age of 65. And Arthur down here has, I mean, almost $800,000 less at a million five. Now I want to show you guys this um, picture today because I just, it goes along with the time, how it's important to start investing early because that compound interest, what is kind of referred to as like a snowball. As soon as you get it rolling, it starts tracking on bigger and bigger amounts. And the reason um, Ben has more at the end of retirement is if you look down here, the compound interest was earning him almost $200,000 a year. And that's just, like I said before, interest on interest at that point. And uh, it just shows you, I, th I just think it's crazy because the amount, I mean, I don't know, what is it, that's $14,000 right there versus how much he's put in and yet he still has more money at retirement. It just blows my mind. Um, now, around 55% of Americans are behind on saving for retirement. I think this is because most people think that investing is hard or too complicated. Uh, when in reality, it's not as complex as people make it out to be as there are a ton of resources on the internet um, to help you with like videos and articles. And when I first started investing like junior year, um, I started by watching YouTubers and looking at certain articles on what I was confused about. And I mean, just in those couple of years, I've learned a lot. And um, if you don't feel like researching, like I said before, you can visit a financial advisor and they can help you with all the, all the things I've talked to you about today and more. You just have to pay a small fee. Um, but by gaining control of your personal finances, it isn't hard, it just takes a lot of discipline. There are a ton of resources on the internet to help you no matter what stage you're on towards your goal of financial stability. You can visit a financial advisor, like I said, if you have any questions. But by budgeting, saving, and investing, you can, stay, you can start to save money and build strong money habits that'll help you take control of your financial future. Thank you.